I think one of the great things about uh, student research uh, is that it in basically forces the students to become much more active with their learning in a way that uh, is very different from sort of a passive lecture-based uh, educational model, which is sort of more common, off, uh, particularly in history uh, and often archaeology. Look at the evidence in the past, whether it's archaeological remains of old boats, drawings, text describing the boats, trying to put all those pieces together and try and rebuild, um, create floating hypotheses of a sort of how boats were built in the past. Um, what types of maritime technology was used. And so the students were doing active experiments um, with certain research questions, uh, coming up to certain conclusions, documenting the entire process, putting them into an experiment report, uh, which you know, they all seem to find very uh, interesting, very intriguing, much more, uh, I guess we would call active and engaging uh, way of learning. And I think one of the, the big challenges for them and for anyone is sort of trying to envision what it was like uh, 4,000 years ago. Uh, we often assume that certain technologies or materials are, were around, even something like coconut fiber, which wasn't around uh, back then. So I think that's sort of some of the big challenges. Um, but also it's very gratifying and much more, I think, uh, enjoyable than a lecture-based uh, education. I've been uh, really privileged to be working with the undergraduate research program uh, since 2010, since it was established here in Abu Dhabi. So throughout the program, we have usually an opportunity to take the students abroad. Mostly we take them to the U.S. and they uh, participate in the National Conference for Undergraduate Research. And they often enjoy it and uh, they come back with a very interesting experience. They share the experience with other students and often students come back to us and ask us to be involved in the program. Um, the purpose of the Archaeological Food School was to give students um, an opportunity to gain skills for them to, to learn about um, how we do archaeology um, so that they would be able to go on potentially to um, have a career in that subject or at least have an exposure to um, archaeology and, and then think about the career options. The point really was to um, involve the students in real research. So we went through the OACs um, documenting the different uh, architectural, archaeological features. Um, we focused on the ancient mud brick boundary walls, which um, mark the, the division of, of land. Um, we conducted some oral history to think about how the, the land was being used and, and, and exploited over the, the kind of past. I came to Syed University to develop leadership, not necessarily to just teach. And I feel that I have an opportunity to develop leadership in my students through the uh, research methods class that I teach as well as the senior projects that I supervise at times. So I'm hoping that the students will appreciate the research methods that they learn so that they can understand that they also are filling a gap in research for the government because there's so much research to be done here and we definitely need the research skills for the country. So our students are filling an immense gap and they are also becoming leaders of tomorrow. So in that sense, I feel that I play a good role in developing leadership for the UAE and for the UAE Vision 2021. Some of the challenges that we face when we're doing research with the students is time. Time is one of the biggest challenges. And then the other challenge is also the fact that we have limited amount of classes to conduct research in. So we have one research methods class, but nonetheless, the students are taking a lot of, making a lot of effort to do the best that they can. And we don't have a lot of time, but we encourage students to learn how to manage their time the best that they can. And when they do their research methods class, it's also important to encourage students to use that skill to then create a senior product that's very meaningful for the priorities that the government has set. So when we, when we realize that the students don't have a lot of time, we then have to encourage them to take small projects that can then be expanded later on. Undergraduate research in the UAE right now has a huge place. The students really want to change um, the, the world, the UAE, contributes for the community, so I would really recommend this to every student and faculty. I would highly recommend all the students or the students who are really engaged and motivated for research to engage in this program or similar programs that promote research in the UAE. We really need research in the UAE 
So please come do research, engage in undergraduate research and also the faculty teaching this program, be um, invited teachers for this program, mentors, students, all the students in this program need mentors. So please engage in undergraduate research. To adopt this information and to have their own independent research when they go further in their uh, studies and also after their graduation if they want to continue uh, for master or PhD. I would like to encourage our students to be engaged in research methods and also to seek help from the faculty and from other colleagues also, maybe also from other graduated students, they can also ask them and from the experts in the field in order to explore the idea of their research and to make it like a researchable idea. Because always I say to my students, there is no foolish idea, but we need to explore more to study more and also to look at the literature in order to have it in a, a researchable uh, way. Students, they have good potential to learn and good potential also to have a high quality of research, but they need good supervision. With good supervision, they can also do a high quality of research and this research also can be published in peer-reviewed journals. For example, I have these publications from uh, my students about the knowledge and beliefs related to cervical cancer and it is published at International Journal of Excellence in Healthcare Management and another uh, article also published at the Arab uh, Arab Journal of uh, Nutrition and Exercise uh, and uh, uh, a recent article accepted in International Food Research Journal, which is also a high quality journal, uh, and it is registered at the SCOBAS. Uh, so by encouraging the students, by motivating them, we can get a high quality of research, and also we can uh, raise up also the ranking of our university and to be one of the leaders university at the UAE and in the Arab world.